are you serious? Are you serious? It's very serious in Hawaii. And now we have a new problem with the Hawaii volcano. And that is uh, acid. Hydrochloric acid is coming out of the plume, out of the uh, crater. Uh, this is a new challenge. Uh, when a stream of lava from the volcano has now crossed over Highway 137 on the south coast of Hawaii's Big Island this, uh, and has now poured into the sea, uh, this mix of erupting lava, which can reach 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and the seawater could send up plumes of what's called a laze a mixture of hydrochloric acid, stream, and volcanic glass particles uh, creating a laze. Dangerous, dangerous. And beware of this laze hazard and stay away from any ocean plume. Uh, according to the agencies, they're warning the potential hazards include lung damage, certainly. A combination of lava and Hayes killed two people back in 2000 when lava flow reached the coast. Even just a wisp of it can irritate the eyes and lungs and make it hard to breathe, says the U.S. Geological Survey. The acid rain from the lays has a pH, a measure of substance, acidity, of baselessness of between 1.5 and 3.5 and has the corrosive properties of diluted battery acid. The public has been warned to stay away from the potential plumes of lays near where the lava is flowing into the ocean off Highway 137 near the state park. An air quality index uh, for Kana, northwest of the eruption site, was at orange level, meaning sensitive groups such as older people and those with lung diseases could be affected. And one of the world's most active volcanoes has destroyed dozens of homes now, sent thousands of residents fleeing, and at least 22 volcanic vents or fissures have opened up since the latest upheaval began on May the 3rd. Besides the lava, the cracks have spewed life-threatening levels of toxic sulfur dioxide gas. The volcano has also fed a fog, a hazy mix of sulfur dioxide, aerosols, moisture, and dust, which fine particles can travel deep into the lungs like glass. Uh, and this is all being uh, documented by the U.S. Geological Survey. With Highway 137, severe, uh, uh, this is a very severe, authorities are trying today to open up nearby Highway 11, which was blocked by almost a mile of lava back in 2014. They're trying to open up that highway to serve as an alternative escape route. The Hawaii National Guard has warned of mandatory evacuations if more roads become blocked. Officials at the Hawaii Volcano Authority has said that the hotter and more vicious lava could be on the way with fountains spurting out 600 feet as seen back in the 1955 eruption. Now there was a man earlier today, lava come flying out of one of those fissures. He was sitting on his third floor balcony watching it when the lava came down and hit him in the leg severely uh, injuring him in his leg and uh, bringing forth the first mixture of blood with the uh, fire and the smoke. The Bible tells us in the book of Joel, it talks about in the last days, he said in verse 30, I'm in Joel 2, 30, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood, before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem 
shall be deliverance as the Lord has said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So we are witnessing the last day apocalyptic signs of the end. You know, Jesus said in the last days, there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking, uh, looking on those things which shall come to pass. Uh, okay, so they know, there is, they know men's hearts will fail them for fear of things coming upon the earth, uh, for the heavens shall be shaken. All right, so we're watching this, we're witnessing this, and we're seeing the apocalyptic signs of the last days. 12 sinkholes in Florida near Ocala, the volcano eruptions and the acid haze and lays in Hawaii, the blood, the fire, the pillars of smoke from the volcano there. We are witnessing the water turning blood red, a river in St. Petersburg, Russia last week turning blood red. We're witnessing all kinds of storms in the Northeast last weekend of tornadoes. We are seeing all kinds of apocalyptic signs, strange sounds in the heavens. A uh, huge sinkhole opened up six stories deep in New Zealand. We're, we're witnessing a crack in Mexico of a, of a biblical proportion. And uh, just it goes on and on and on. Ebola now breaking out in the Congo. And the apocalyptic signs. And then the wars and the rumors of wars. And this is the fig tree generation. This is that generation uh, the, that shall see the Son of Man. And the Bible tells us Jerusalem, of course, celebrating its 70th anniversary as a nation. 70 weeks. We're witnessing the biblical prophecies of Daniel. We are watching now Ezekiel 38 very closely. Psalms 83. Because we realize we are living in the final days. The third temple. The talk of it being built. Jerusalem. Uh, becoming the capital of Israel and the United States moving its embassy there to seal the deal, the prophecies, the rush on the Gaza border. Uh, it's the, the, the Iranian conflict with Israel just recently. All these things and Turkey's threatening of Israel to form a coalition of Arabic nations. All of this has said, should say something to everybody that we are truly living in the end times, prophetic times. The last days. Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Do not miss tonight's powerful Sunday Night Live broadcast. This during the Feast of Pentecost. Everything is happening at once. It is unbelievable what's going on in these last days. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.